Uh, this weekend, many people will be taking a moment to remember uh, those who have died uh, to protect the country as we commemorate Remembrance Sunday. Now, we're joined now by two of those people, two people who actually uh, served during the Second World War, to remind you why we should never forget. Yes, Geoffrey Hayward and Marie Scott both served during the Second World War. It's an absolute honour and pleasure to have you both with us this morning. Um, Marie, let's come to you first. Let's talk about Remembrance Sunday. You're there proudly wearing your poppy. We're all wearing our poppies today. Why is it so important that we continue to wear the poppy and we continue to talk about the people we lost? Because, particularly today, um, democracy seems a rather fragile... Um, right. Mm. Uh, yeah, Thank you. Yeah, right yeah. is the word. Mm -hmm. And um, when you think of the men who died to protect democracy 75 years ago, um, it would, I think they would be horrified if they thought their sacrifice was in vain. Well, it's amazing to have you two here because you lived and breathed during the war um, you involved in, in communications, Mary. You were yes. just 17 years of age. Yes. And I reckon you had to grow up very, very fast, very quickly. Well, I grew up on D-Day when I, I was manning a VH, VHF radio and it was a one-way system. Mm -hmm. And when I had finished relaying what I had to and they lifted the receiver and they were on the beaches of yes. Normandy. Um, mm. I could hear the sounds of war. Well, uh, it wasn't just war, it was loud gunfire, people shouting. That was the reality. The turmoil yeah. of yeah. war. Well, um, one of those, those people, it wasn't the beaches of Normandy, the beaches of Dunkirk, yes. first of all. Yes. Um, Geoffrey, uh, you were there. You had to, to make your way for the evacuation at, yeah. at Dunkirk. Well, um, you are a hundred years of age, my friend, and we salute you for all that you've gone through because you are living history, aren't you? <laughs> Just about. At <laughs> 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 <About> a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, to get to those beaches, I mean, uh, we only know it through history lessons and the films, the movies. I don't yeah. know if you've seen how the, the films recreate mm. uh, all of this. What, what was it like? Have you seen the latest film? Have you seen on Dunkirk? Uh, well, I never actually came back from Dunkirk. I came back from La Pan, yeah, which was farther up the coast from the beach. Yes, but the same things happened. I mean, you were strafed by the Luftwaffe. What they I... dropped bombs on you. Oh, the uh, and machine gun and from the Major Smiths. I was on the rear guard, so we were the last to get to the coast. And we waded in the water up to our waist, and the waves came up to our shoulders as it came in. And as soon as it got light, over came the old uh, Luftwaffe, machine gunning along the beach. So we were sitting ducks. So they took us in, back on the beach, Decided that each machine gun crew of about four men would make their way under their own NCO and do the best they could. So we walked up and I saw this boat on its side, beached, it was a coaster. People were get on, getting on it, so we got on it and the crew had got a big oil drum, and they were burning oily, mag, oily rags to make out it was on fire. So the look, yeah. water it was out of Leave you alone, yeah. yeah. Left that, bro bro that brought you back to Folkestone. Uh, so it did. It brought you back to Folkestone. That, that, that boat. boat brought you home. Yes. And I was so tired, I fell asleep. And I remember waking up and feeling the motion of the boat. And the next thing I remember is someone shaking me up with the shoulders say, so wake up, we're coming into Folkestone, well, so I don't know thank goodness what for happened. that. And, and, Marie, you have been back um, to, to the beaches. Um, you've gone, gone back there with the London Taxi Charity, which is That's right. an, an amazing yeah. thing. Yes. To actually see 
yes. all that you were you were part yeah. of. Yeah. Now you were awarded the the Légion d'honneur from uh, from France. Yeah. Yes. For what you did, tell us about that. Well, it, it, it's an amazing honour, um, for which I'm truly humbled. Um, I, I'm sure I don't deserve it, but I was an extremely small cog in a very large wheel. Right. And I suppose if if you haven't got the cogs, the wheel doesn't turn. Well, every, well everybody played their precise. part, small yeah. or, or um, large. Where will you be spending Remembrance Sunday? Um, Kingston-upon-Thames, laying the wreath for the Association of Wrens. Fantastic. Well, well and, done, and what about you? Where will you be spending Remembrance Sunday, Geoffrey? A bigger one. Where will you be re re spending Remembrance Sunday? Where will I be? Mm. In my local church. So, well, we attend most week most Sundays, but I will go and I, they get me to say the epitaph, you know. So a special good. special day for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, to the both of you, lest we forget. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much indeed. Oh, thank you. And thank you Pleasure. for listening to me. No. Thank you. Sure, we could listen to you all day. We but could listen to you can't. all day. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got all day. That's the oh. We but wish think, we had. I think it's really important that people do talk to people like you and they record what you have to say because you are living history. Well, mm. we're, uh, not only that. I mean, we're getting fewer and fewer each year. Sadly. So yeah. now's the time to do it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much indeed.